This is CNN. In other news, a San Francisco couple tried for years and they thought they would never have a baby. And then they received some help from a fertility specialist. Yeah, he did a bit of tweaking on their situation. <laughs> we'll have that story for you in a bit. But first, the allergy forecast. Well, childless couples may want to take note of one family solution to a long-standing and what was believed to be an unsolvable problem. Yeah, CNN's Rusty Dornan has more on that story from San Francisco. Dr. Carrot, this is uh, little David Franklin Parks. David, how are you? An introduction Michael and Marie Parks never thought they'd make. The couple tried unsuccessfully for 10 years to have a child. So we uh, decided to once again uh, ask the question and see if, uh, if there was something out there that at this time had uh, come to light. Something had come to light. Michael Parks' sperm didn't move. Up until now, if sperm didn't move, doctors weren't sure it was dead or alive. A new test developed at UC San Francisco can tell the difference. Dr. Paul Turek discovered that a little sugar water and some help from Biology 101 goes a long way. Live sperm swell, like any live cell would do, and dead sperm don't. And this is based on high school biology that I learned called osmosis. The swollen sperm is then prodded. It tweaks a sperm that's not moving and can, dis and can determine whether it's alive or not. If it's alive, it can be used for a pregnancy. Before this point, all sperm had to be moving to be used for a pregnancy. The sperm is then injected into the egg. The procedure failed twice for the parks, and then doctors tried again. When she came in that day and said, it's positive, I said, what's positive? And it took a few seconds for me to realize what we were talking about. He was in denial. He didn't want to get his hopes up. <laughs> the new test could give hope to some 20,000 men in the U.S. who up until now thought they had dead sperm. This gives us a whole new way of treating infertile males and a way of helping men become fathers who would not otherwise have been able to. I don't think anybody really realizes uh, the impact that it has when, when you have your own child. Uh, and uh, this um, uh, it certainly uh, was very fulfilling, I think, for both of us. This is something. Thanks again. Rusty Dornan, CNN, San Francisco.